my title was clickbait, but not. And I'm going to explain to you why. So watch the entire video. You will make sense. Let's start. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. The hair is up. It's going to get real. So stick around. If you are new here in the channel, welcome to the bus house. If you are OG subscriber, welcome back. And if you're just coming by because of the title of the video, I hope you consider subscribing before you go. There has been a whole lot of talk around about the Stafford family. If you don't know what's going on yet, I am not going to talk a lot about it because it, it just pisses me off so much what they have done. But I'm going to give you a quick rundown. These garbage people decided to adopt a child from China to gain subscribers. Doesn't matter what they say that their reasoning is, what I believe, allegedly, what I believe is that they did that for clout. They did that for clicks. They did that for subscribers. Now, these garbage people that adopted this child from China intentionally pursue the adoption of a child with a medical condition. For the child here vlogged with this child for 27 videos allegedly they did the despicable act of rehoming their child and tossed away in a foster care home here in the u.s don't get fooled when she says the new mommy because the new mommy is a foster parent allegedly child has not been rehomed that child has been tossed away in foster care when you are adopting a child that child becomes yours it's just like a biological child you do not return it you do not pick a adopted child like a pet and you do not return it like a pair of jeans from Gap. And if you guys want to know more about it, there are plenty of channels that I'm going to link down below so you guys can go and take a look at the full story because I cannot, I just cannot bring myself to talk about this family. Micah had 4,000 subscribers when she started the adoption journey. Now they have a whole lot more. Micah's channel has 706,000 subscribers. That's only because she lost 11,000 subscribers. And in my opinion, that's way too little of a loss. We are not doing a good job on unsubscribing to these people right here. Their family channel has 322,000 subscribers. And let's not forget, the husband's channel has 938,000 subscribers. Almost a million people follow this man. Now, I know you clicked on this video, which clearly the title was clickbait, but not and I'm going to get to that. Here's the reason why I think that we are being unfair to this family. Let's look at Social Blade. Micah Social Blade has shown that she has lost about 11,000 subscribers in this past six days since they uploaded that video of them justifying, justifying why they did the despicable act of rehoming their child. Their family channel in which they have deleted all of their videos. However, if you look closely, they still have that baby boy. He's in the picture still. That channel lost 13,000 subscribers, which in my opinion is still very little of a loss. Now, here is the papa. Papa's channel has lost 3,000 subscribers, but it gets better. He gained a thousand subscribers the first of June. He gained a thousand subscribers. Let's talk about the unfairness. We are all trash talking, Micah, and that's unfair because she didn't do this alone. She is a garbage person, that's for sure. However, she's married to another garbage person. Everything that I'm saying is alleged here, but let's not forget about James. Why did he gain a thousand subscribers? Why? It's really beyond me why she's losing subscribers, the family channel is losing subscribers, but his channel is gaining subscribers. They are making bad name of influencers, YouTubers into the adoption world. These two people adopted for clout. These two people adopted this kid to be famous. Now that they are famous, they dump the kid. Do not support these people. And generally, I would tell in my channel to not bring hate to anybody, to not go chasing those creators. But hey, they're deleting the comments anyways. Unsubscribe equally. 
be fair, but I needed to talk about this. And I've been holding back for the past six days. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to make a video about it. I'm not going to talk about this. But I keep seeing everyone making videos after videos after videos talking about Micah. Yes, do it. Let's bring the story out. However, we are forgetting she's not alone. There is a spouse there. James is also to blame. It looks really unfair to me. Because even if everybody unsubscribes to her channel and to the family channel, his channel is thriving. His channel's yearly estimate in euro, sorry, because I'm not in the US and this damn internet just gives me the prices in euro right now. His current yearly estimate in his channel is of 2693 thousand dollars a year they're still making almost 300 grand just in one channel they were crying wolf for money for this kid and just his channel can support the entire family and the kids treatment let's drive this family back to dumpster diving because that's what they used to do before they decided to destroy a small child's life a child that already have a whole lot of trauma and a whole lot of stuff going on in his life he didn't need this. So do not give this family $269,000 a year in income, please. I beg of you. I'm going to stop here because I am proud of myself. I kept my composure somewhat, but I really needed to bring this forward because I feel like people are just ignoring his channel while everyone is only talking about Micah. Do not just talk about Micah. Remember, James is thriving over there. He's thriving in the corner. And nobody's looking. Don't be unfair. They both evil, not just her. Let me know down in the comments if you agree with me that his channel also should shrink. His channel should not be gaining any subscribers. Let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. Also, ring the bell button so you can get notified every time I post. Make sure to like the video so we can move this video through all the algorithms so we can remind everybody to not forget James' channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next upload. Bye.